So this is going to be my quick water tutorial to get across the gap at the start of water. I'm basically just going to try to explain what I'm doing. And you're just going to let let it go once. But I'm just going to keep doing it over and over again while I try to explain like how it works. So you want to make sure when you land that you grab and hold the ground because otherwise when you land you might just slide towards the water and now you're going to be out of position for the setup to get across the gap. So as soon as you land you want to be holding forward, left and space and you want to line up the center of the screen with the left side of the rowboat. So it will basically be between your hands or on top of your head depending on how your body ragdolled when you landed. As soon as your guy jumps, that's when you want to turn your camera and aim to line up the center of the screen on the left side of the raft. As long as you're within the left side of the raft and like the spike you see off in the distance, it, you should still have an angle that works. After your guy lands, you want to wait half a second and then make your next angle change. And the next visual cue you're trying to line yourself up with is the wall next to the motorboat. <clears throat> this angle is more precise than the first angle. You want to make sure you're lined up with this wall. Otherwise, your last jump, you might over or undershoot. And if that happens, you're pretty much going to have to reset. For the next jump, it's the same idea where you want to wait half a second after your guy jumps and then do your angle change. And the last visual cue you're lining up with is the shadow on the wall. And once you line up with this shadow, just keep keep holding all the same buttons that you've been holding this whole time. And as soon as your guy jumps in the water, you want to switch from holding forward left to forward right. And then turn your camera slightly to the right. And as long as you do that, you don't have to do any more angle changes. Just keep holding that and you should get across the gap every time. So that's pretty much everything when it comes to getting across this gap. I didn't think I'd put this much time and effort into this tutorial, but I realized there's a lot of little intricacies. Anyways, so I'm just going to let uh, a continuous clip of me doing the gap play out. So if, if you want to just watch it be done over and over again, just keep watching. If there's anything I didn't explain clearly, or you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. So that's going to be all for my commentary. So thanks for watching. If you guys want to see any more tutorials for jumps or gaps, just let me know in the comments. And yeah, good luck with your speedruns.